This is Sue, and Sue's going to demonstrate how to use a wobble cushion. First, she's going to stand up and show you what the wobble cushion looks like. Okay, and then you can just place it on any sort of chair. She's going to just place it right here on the table, and she's going to sit on the chair. So to begin, you can just do repetitions frontward and backward. So you're going to stick your tummy out and shoulders back, and then kind of inward. It's not so much that you're collapsing. I want you to see what she looks like from the side. But basically, she's just moving the hips on the chair, and she's going to do about 20 repetitions of that. And then she's going to go side to side. And you can work different areas of the spine by raising the arms so that they're, so that they're at the shoulder level, and she can put them on top of her head. And that's going to work upper back. And in the case of someone with a low back scoliosis that curves to the left, Sue is going to put her, her left arm down low and really stretch as far as she can low. And then to the right, she's going to have her right arm high, and she's going to stretch to the right to work the upper back. But just the side-to-side -side repetitions, she's going to just do about 20 of those. And there's also what we call the V-sit pattern, which can be a little bit complicated. Basically, she's going to take her right hip and go forward toward her left knee, left hip forward toward her right knee, and back and forth. So it's just basically like she's making a V-shape with her hips. 20 repetitions, which includes left to right, is one. There's number two, and that's it.